Most Americans alive that day remember exactly where they were when they heard President Kennedy had been assassinated. We found out from the newsmen who covered the tragedy, including a former Channel 8 reporter named Bert Shipp. He is the father of our own Brett Shipp, who recently sat down with his dad to reflect on that fateful day. The vast majority of Americans remembered as the day that an American president was assassinated. They did kill my president. Only a few also remembered as the day that television news grew up. One of them, the young Channel 8 news reporter seen carrying the camera there in the background. He had just returned from Parkland Hospital where he witnessed a horrific moment in American history. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You'll excuse the fact that I'm out of breath, but... But Bert Ship was about to become a part of it as WFAA began pioneering live, non-stop right. reporting of a major event. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you the chief cameraman and assistant news director of WFA television. This is Bert Schiff. Bert, we have brought the people pretty much up to date. Uh, would you tell them exactly what you know as of this point? Well, Jay, I was standing at the... Uh, Ship was to cover Kennedy's scheduled speech at the trademark when the presidential motorcade sped past him. Something was very wrong. He left his car and hitched a ride with a cop to Parkland Hospital. I look at these faces on these people. They were... Look like zombies, you know, from a from a, from a, a movie that you see, see you know, sometimes. Their faces were just gone, and, and they were crying. And he says just minutes later, he was approached by a trusted source with shocking news. Sheriff Decker came out of Trauma One, and I said, Sheriff, uh, I said, what does it look like? He said, he cannot live in the condition he's in. That's what Jeff Sheriff Decker told me. Ship knew that seconds mattered. Having left his car back at the trademark, he commandeered a ride back to the station with a surprised stranger. I jumped into the, I said, I need to go to the channel 8, the studios, and he said, I'm not going that way, and I said, yeah, you are. This is Bert Ship. Bert Within seconds of his arrival, a breathless Bert Ship was on the air, live. Well, Jay, I was standing at the uh, trademark, waiting his arrival there. All of a sudden, the, uh, we saw them approaching. They didn't slow down. As a matter of fact, they were going 70, 80 miles an hour past us. I, everybody was unknowingly, uh, didn't know what happened there at the trademark. And then uh, I jumped in a police car and went to Parkland. When I got there, I found that, uh, that nobody knew too much about where he was hit, but they knew that the president was shot in the head. At that moment, even though Ship was certain the president was dead, it was not official and he could not report it and he doesn't regret it. What he does regret, he says, is not destroying that live recording. You just got on the air and started talking. I just got on the air and started talking. And I, uh, I, I was embarrassed when I looked at it later on. And Conley's doctor will come out in about 15 minutes. To minutes later, in between live interviews, Ship played a key role in the preservation of history. Abraham Zapruder had walked into Channel 8 with a camera in his hand. He had filmed the assassination and wanted Ship to develop it. He convinced Zapruder Channel 8 was not equipped to do that. <laughs> You're going to ruin a lot of film. And he said, well, what are we going to do with it? And I said, hang on just a second. Let me Ship not... directed Zapruder to a Kodak lab where his processed film became legendary. 100 feet of film, how long does that last? Three you... minutes. Legendary, a word also used to describe the man who spent the next 40 years helping to make WFAA TV the industry standard bearer of quality journalism. Yeah, we'll on the and uh, run through. Uh, one thing, a brand of news forged in a tempest of tragedy. On the day, a young reporter and his craft Came of age. So I'm get the film ready now. Good, ladies and gentlemen. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. You know, Bert Ship will uh, receive a special honor tomorrow night in San Antonio. The Lone Star Chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences will induct Ship into the Silver Circle. It's a lifetime achievement award honoring Ship's work and de decades of tireless service to North Texas journalism.